What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. In today's video we're going to take a look at seven different outfits, a full week of fall looks. Today is just about inspiration, going from some lighter looks in the beginning to some of the looks that are going to keep you warmer as the temperatures drop. Before we get started I'd like to let you know that today's video is sponsored by United Colors of Benetton, but as always I don't include or promote anything that I don't truly love and would actually go out and buy myself and I actually think you're really going to like the pieces too. Let's get it started with look number one. For look number one I'm wearing a shirt jacket. Absolutely in love with this piece. It's a combination of brown, black and a little bit of light gray. It's a piece from H&M that I fell in love with when I was on the website just browsing around, immediately had to buy it. Underneath I'm wearing a Uniqlo U long sleeve t-shirt that has a nice little pocket detail. What I love about this thing is primarily the color. It's a really nice brown but it kind of leans on burgundy a little bit so it has a reddish hue that I think is really really nice. On my lower half I'm wearing my Club Monaco raw denim jeans and a pair of Converse sneaker boots, let's call them. Absolutely love with these jeans as you guys hopefully know by now if you watch my channel regularly. If you don't, make sure to subscribe. And on my feet, the Converse, another one of my favorites. I think Converse are a beautiful sneaker, but sometimes they're not the most weather appropriate throughout the fall season. So these ones really nicely bridge the gap between the classic aesthetic and the wearability of them. Overall, you'll notice it's a really relaxed, chill look. I'm playing with that earth tone color scheme of the burgundy brown, the brown in the shirt, as well as in the boots, and I'm basing it against the neutral dark blue color of the raw denim jeans. Look number two is also on the lighter side as I said we're starting out with some lighter looks and this is the look that actually integrates the first two pieces from the United Colors of Benetton. I don't know if you know the brand, they had actually been in America then left and then now they're entering the US market again. I grew up with one of those stores on the main shopping street in my hometown on the Königstraße in Stuttgart. Holler to all the Germans that know of this brand that's actually from Italy. But let's take a look at the pieces specifically. This is a pair of corduroys that I really, really like. They have a really nice fit around the thigh. I might take them to the tailor just to get them tapered down a little bit more. As you guys know, I like my pants nice, fitted and tapered. On my feet, a pair of Ankari Flores suede sneakers and a nice neutral earth color. And up top, kind of playing off of that same color scheme, you see this beautiful corduroy jacket. It's kind of got like a collegiate vibe to it. Really nice sand color, a nicely pronounced corduroy pattern. And then just a couple highlights around the wrists and I believe around the, nope. Here it is, around the pocket. I knew there was another orange highlight in there. Really like this jacket and I chose to wear it with a turtleneck. Overall, the look has a little bit of a vintage vibe because I'm combining two corduroy pieces, which is something I wouldn't necessarily always recommend, but because this one is distinctly different, not only in color, but also in the width of the corduroy, it actually really works for me and I like the look altogether. As much as I'm trying to get you guys used to seeing some looks that are a little bit out the box, a little bit different for me and possibly for you like that last one, of course it's also about the more classic looks like this one. We got a bomber jacket, this one is from H&M combined with an H&M hoodie. Really like this lightweight bomber jacket, it's a really great way to add a layer without much warmth and actually getting it a little bit more of a weatherproof look because it's obviously water repellent. The hoodie I'm in love with, it's from the NASA collection at H&M and I really like the cream color of its base and then I just have a white t-shirt peeking out as you guys hopefully know I like doing just to break the look up a little bit. On the lower half I have a pair of light colored ripped Zara jeans that are actually not like this on the website anymore I believe. All the links that I can find for all the pieces on the rack and on me will be down in the comments section for you guys to shop. And lastly we got a pair of navy Converse. And I was just talking about the Converse boots and how they're a little bit more weather appropriate, so maybe wear these when it's not raining outside so you don't get your feet drenched. Overall, a nice and classic look. There's probably a lot of guys out there wearing this, but you can still refine it by finding nice pieces to make this look a little bit more special and then playing with the colors other than a gray hoodie with a black bomber and black jeans. Try and make it a little bit more fun, combining a couple of blue tones with a cream base, for example. Look number four, and we're getting a little bit warmer with this overcoat that I absolutely love. This whole look, shoes aside, is from United Colors of Benetton. And to me, United Colors of Benetton, when I grew up and the brand I knew was very much about basics, about nailing the simple things and keeping it very streamlined. But now I went to their pop-up a couple weeks ago in Los Angeles and the collection looks incredible. It's so colorful and nice little details like this t-shirt right now. as a pocket detail that says I have nothing in my pocket which I think is really fun and whimsical but in such a subtle and well-designed way that you can easily wear it and make it a versatile piece in your closet. Let's talk a little bit more about this coat because I absolutely love it. I know an orange coat might not be the easiest thing to pull off but at the same time it's pretty easy because you put this on 
something as simple as this look is and the outfit is just elevated to a whole another level. Really like the construction of it, the feel, the fit. It's a little bit oversized, it's a little bit boxy, but I think it's really nice for a coat like this in a bold color like the orange. On the lower half you'll see a pair of plaid chinos that I also really like. They have a nice gray face and then we have some orange brown detailing as well as some lighter gray just to add a little bit of pattern to it. And then I actually chose to wear a pair of Adidas Super Cords with it just to make it a little bit more street. Like I said, the coat is a little bit more boxy, it's a little bit more slouchy, so we have a little bit more of a relaxed vibe going on, so I thought these sneakers would be a great way to run this out. Overall, definitely a nice chill look. I'm getting warm and I'm just wearing a t-shirt underneath, so this thing will keep you warmer as the temperatures are starting to drop. Look number four, overall a lot more classy than the first three options we had. A little bit more put together, a little bit more sleek. Starting with this top coat from Zara. Nice dark gray, it's completely unstructured, so it's a really nice feel to it, it's stretchy, but it still looks, like I said, really nicely put together. Underneath, I have a sweater on from Canali. It's a white sweater and that's more so what I wanna be talking about. Like I said, this is an inspiration video, so don't feel need to buy exactly the pieces that I'm showing you today. It's more just general outfit inspiration. Really in love with this piece though, it's a really nice knit, really well designed, and then on the lower half, I kept it very, very simple with a pair of black Zara jeans. No rips, no nothing, just black jeans that are cropped at the ankles. If you are disturbed by the fact that my ankles are exposed, please just imagine that I have socks on for your interpretation of this look. I actually like rocking the ankles out even when it gets colder out. I don't know why, but I don't tend to not get cold down there. And then I finished the look off with a pair of clean white kicks, so other than the Adidas Super Cord that we just saw, I now am wearing a pair of Ankari Flores sneakers. A lot more slim, a lot more narrow, and a lot more suitable for a look like this that's a little bit more sleek and put together. We're already on the second to last look, and like I said, I wanna try and push your boundaries a little bit when it comes to certain things, and this looks meant to demonstrate color combination. So sticking to a monochromatic color scheme, in this case, it's not purely monochromatic, it's just really, really earth tony. Up top, you might remember this trench coat from the corduroy video that I recently shot. This is actually a women's coat that I found at Urban Outfitters and fell in love with. Don't make it weird, just wear it and rock it. Underneath, also from Urban Outfitters, I'm wearing a waffle knit t-shirt. It's a long sleeve, which is, of course, really nice. It has a really nice, soft touch to the skin. So it's really comfortable wearing it and it actually makes me pretty warm just standing here even though it's not marketed as a thermal shirt. On the lower half, we got a pair of khaki colored chinos from H&M, really nice and slim. Not skinny, slim. In this case, I actually enjoy that they're a little bit wider around the ankle and then finish the look off with a pair of brown suede split toe boots from my own brand, Akari Flores. Overall, like I said, inspiration. I cannot overemphasize it. It's about inspiration, so taking something like this and being like, I like that olive color with the cream color. That's a nice combination, trying to figure out how that works with your style, with your wardrobe, and trying to replicate that. Same with the boots. If you don't have these boots, think of any other brown boots that you have in your closet to try and recreate an outfit like this. Finishing the week off with look number seven, and I wanna be talking about winter whites. As you can see on the bottom half of my body, I'm wearing a pair of white slim jeans from H&M. Really like these jeans, but primarily I wanna mention that you can and maybe even should wear white after Labor Day. Is it Labor Day or Memorial Day? I always forget. The one that comes in September. I really like the look. I think you can embrace it and disregard the fashion rules. If you recently watched my video about fashion rules, you already know. If you haven't yet, links right up here for you to check out. But I think you can and should. Of course, there's a chance it might get dirty because it gets wet and dirty out. Just be mindful of that. On my feet, another pair of Ankari Flora sneakers. These are navy perforated leather with a white sole. And that's already the combination of colors that we got in the rest of the outfit. Up top, a unique little denim shirt as the base layer. Then we got a Zara knit sweater on top of that. Nice and thick to add the warmth to this because the trench coat from H&M won't necessarily do that. So this takes care of the heat and this takes care of protection from wind and water. That's what trench coats originally came from. I also recently did a trench coat video. If you haven't seen that yet, check that out right here. <laughs> and to all of you that have seen it, thank you for watching the channel religiously. Overall, you see a nice combination of navies with a lighter blue color in the denim shirt, and then we got the white pants. It's a nice contrast, picking that back up in a sole of the shoe. And that already wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the introduction, reintroduction, or just reminder of United Colors of Benetton. Another shout out to them. Thank you very much for sponsoring today's video and keeping this channel going. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and thoughts down below. Make sure to like that video if you did and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper, guys. Bye.